Hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Luxor Moonrise. In the last episode, we got into Sage 6, and in this episode, we're going to be continuing on and finishing it with crossing the Reed Sea. Here we go. Wicked conditions are now, um, I think, at a range of like 450 at this point. Actually, they are 450 at this point. I'm saying like is lying, because I actually know it's 450. I just checked before recording this video. So, I don't like crossing the Red Sea, like I've elaborated. Well, I mean, it's alright, but... Uh, we're gonna finish stage 6 in this video. I mean, we'll have a new color next episode. I mean, I'm gonna start hating this game next episode. I'm just gonna do that for some reason. I don't know why. Because I don't feel like waiting. Missed. Scorpion, nice. Which one? I remember last time we were continuously like there'd be two spheres and the scorpion would go to that row. Man, that bothered me. The lightning trick does work pretty well on this level. Yeah, the thing is with the lightning trick on this level, you have to line it up properly. Which could be pretty tough, but you know. Whoops. I just hope the 25 minutes is long enough because I'm running out of space. It should be, though. This video should probably take about... Maybe 16, 17 minutes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I need to kind of try and uh, do nothing but clear. Try and keep on clearing. Try not to add any spheres onto the rows. Just keep on clearing. And with big lightning like that, it will make these levels a lot shorter. So I definitely want to make sure I have hard drive space, or uh, drive space when the end of the game comes near. This could actually probably have to be recorded in parts and then be put together later. Which would suck, but... Always a possibility, but I doubt it. Okay, give me a power-up I can actually use to destroy a bunch of spheres quickly, like a fireball. That works. Even though that wasn't a power-up. Remember, we're trying to do as much as possible to get this level done as quickly as possible. Okay. The bar's gold, now I gotta do this to finish everything off. And the scorpion should really help me with that. That's done. Twelve segments. Anyway, next up is Mummy Dearest. Alright. Yes, the fireball trick will really help me complete these levels a lot quicker, and in the time limit. Because I'm very strapped for time when I'm recording this video, so... Scorpions will help too. Actually, I'll 
extra life. Once again, the idea is keep on clearing. I'm just gonna try and keep on clearing. In a sense here, the segment is too big, and the point... Causing a fireball would be kind of pointless, or using... Conserving the fireball is kind of pointless, but I don't care. The segment's way too big to actually... You know segment's too big when you can't destroy it instantly with a fireball. Color bomb, very useful. So 30 minutes, okay. Okay, come on. Trying to catch everything is probably gonna get me absolutely nowhere though. And when the game doesn't want to give me matches, the colors I have matches for. And when I I missed coins, all of them. Stop giving me useless power ups. I actually need to complete these levels quickly. That's pretty good. That was a waste, almost, because I missed... In a way, in a sense, that was a waste. I had literally no reason to use that thing. I wasted that completely. Because I clicked out of the screen, so... Okay, at least the level's almost done. At least this is gonna be the last segment. And this company should finish it off. Done. I wish I could grab both the gem and the coin, but whatever. 6-6. Six, six. Here we go. 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Luckily, Sally Thumbos isn't really that bad of a level. And since most of the shooting are going to be done by really close range shoots. Stopping the segments like this is awesome. I kind of added more than I actually removed in that, which is kind of sad. Okay, there we go. I still have another level after this, and this and the extra level, and this can actually be pretty difficult. Not gonna lie. Um, it's not really that difficult, but I missed the coin now. Of course it didn't count. Because this game wants me to have nothing good. Bomb. There's one last sphere I have to get rid of, but Play those dumb tricks with me, game. Come on.
a waste. One more level. That was easy. Like, I destroyed that level. It's not like the muscles really isn't that bad. Next level. Valley of the Kings. The extra level of stage 6. Here we go. This level could actually be a little difficult because it's got a lot of corners. It's really not that bad, though. If you really know, if you know what you're doing, this level isn't really that bad. Um, the problem is the shooting is slow and you can't really quick kill very easily. Um, the tunnels really make this one the, a real toughie, though. It's not the hardest stage. I don't call this the hardest set 3 level. Absolutely not. I missed the gem. But um, I don't call this the hardest level in the third set of the game. That reward would probably go to 12-9. Um, yeah, now I can actually reveal how long stages are. 12-9 uh, is really difficult. Then there's also 11-7-10, or 11-8-7. Uh, 10-7, uh, pretty bad, but I can tolerate it. 10 is not too bad, though. And boom. Blew it up. Good job. No. I, I'm not gonna finish that with Okay, there we go. Thank you for at least handing me power-ups, okay? Pretty decent ones, too. I'm, I've gotten pretty decent with the power -up. Oh, dude, I could have extended that even further, but I didn't, because I'm... That guy did not stand a chance against me at all. It's kind of good when the Scarabs don't stand a chance against your awesome uh, powers and abilities. Saving this is kind of useless, but... I want to be conservative! Okay. I'm just gonna let... I get eliminated. Zap that to death. Nothing lives. Alright. Coins are so easy to get in this game, it's ridiculous. They're much easier than an original Luxor because of the Scorpion power-up. Whoops. Alright. That was not really the most useful way to do that. Whoops, alright. I did not give me a coin, but whatever. Yep, I'm wasting precious time doing this. To get a slow. Really? Okay, let's actually try and destroy the row now. Oh, I actually managed to hit that. Dang it! I didn't hit that, though. Oh great, now there are two segments on screen at once. Meaning I'm gonna hate this. Meaning that now hell has all has risen. You wanna know how it rises in this game, you no it's Oh no Okay, I probably can get rid of this row if I Oh no, I'm I'm gonna lose this level. Nope. This is in case another row arrives while I'm still trying to deal with the rest of the level. I can win this. There are only two spheres left in that row in the danger zone. Or actually, there are three. I didn't destroy it. But I also almost finished the level. Screw you. And that's the end of that. That's not bad. So, I guess that's the end of this video. I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Luxor Mind Rising when we enter the seventh stage of the game. Which is... Ritual... Ritual Purification. We're just going to start it again with Kai Dai Kufu Dai. And I'm probably not going to like this because we get a new color on Tuesday, luckily. So I'll see you guys next time on Tuesday. More Let's Play Luxor Rising. Later.